In my video about creating evolving soundscapes, you could see how I set up an instrument with four layers and I assigned a fade in zone and a fade out zone to all layers and I gave them a value between 0 and 127 and then I used the LFO to modulate the volume between each layer so to create a evolving soundscape like this now the results of this approach sounds pretty good I think the only thing is that because this is a parallel approach um, where all four wave samples are being played at the same time while only one is being heard it takes away from the polyphony and each note being played takes four samples so I started thinking again and I came up with a method 2 I thought since we have the trans wave function available in this machine we might as well just put like eight sounds of for example two seconds each and one after the other and then modulate between those sounds using the trans wave function and the modulator so I did just that and so here we go let's check out the source material for this example Here are the eight sounds already pasted together in Audacity and I will play it for you and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's it, let's move to the EPS 16 Plus and set it up. All right, we're going to set the loop mode to bi-direction and I'm not gonna worry about smoothing the loop points this time. All of the eight sounds in the wave sequence were recorded for two seconds at 60 BPM at 44.1 kilohertz. So the first loop endpoint is obviously gonna be at 88,200 samples. Next we move to the wave mod page and set it to trans wave and set the modulation source to envelope 1 and speaking of envelope 1 we will set the envelope 1 values first so press edit envelope 1 0 edit envelope 1 0 and choose the all zeros preset and then press edit envelope 1 1 edit envelope 1 1 and set the first value for heart velocity level to 99 and then press edit envelope 1 3 edit envelope 1 3 and set the first value for time to 85 now we want the envelope to repeat itself so press edit envelope 18 edit envelope 18 and set the envelope mode to repeat okay let's go back to the wave edit page and get to the uh, modulation amount page and what we will do here is uh, listen to how many steps we need to set this value uh, we need to determine at what level there's no change in sound anymore and that value will be the maximum for this so mm -hmm. okay so as you can hear, yeah, as you can hear, there's no more, yeah, as you can hear, there's no more change in sound uh, between 16 and 17. So we'll set this value to 16 because 
this is the end point of our trans wave. Okay, let's check out envelope one. Press edit envelope one one and we are at the envelope one heart velocity page. And listen to this. So the values in the envelope heart velocity page now have become locations in the trans wave. So when we set the levels and the times, this will create the effect of scanning through the wave sequence in the order that we set it to. And that's pretty cool. So let's set some values here. And that's not all. The envelope also has a soft velocity page and a soft velocity curve page. So that was not switched on, so let's switch it on and listen. Let's set some values first and then play some sounds. <laughs> So now the velocity determines where to start in the wave sequence according to the values in the soft velocity page. While the hard velocity page values are still in effect as well. So the sound is now maybe not so useful, so you will have to shape it by using filters, envelopes, LFO and the effects until you get something useful. Okay, um, I created a sound here in the EPS 16 plus and I actually have a uh, Roland sustain pedal here um, and this one works in uh, opposite opposite polarity so that means that whenever it's not pressed it sustains the sound so that's awesome for this work so I don't need to keep my foot on it I can just play the keyboard so I will just play a, a sequence of notes and let the EPS 16 plus do the rest <laughs> 